Tom, your frugal prepper. So um, I went to the tool store today, and I went to the one in Columbus, which is a little farther away, but I had something else to do over that way. So that's the one I went to. I hadn't been there before. It's quite a bit smaller than the one in Dayton. Um, but all the same same old uh, Harbor Freight stuff. Um, so I had a coupon to get these two jack stands for uh, $19.99. They say they're three ton. Um, I, I, they're the same exact size and look as the ones I got from Advance already. And um, I wouldn't put more than two tons on them because those are rated for two tons. <laughs> um, but they'll be fine for holding up my little cars just fine. Um, one thing that kind of irritated me is if you look at this picture, it shows how it's got a nice deep groove with a little spot cut out for a pinch weld in there. When you look at these, um, well, not so much. <laughs> so, oh well, it was cheap. Um, they had a magnetic parts tray holder. I got another one of those. It was on sale for four bucks for the six inch or one. Um, I got some epoxy. I use that for all kinds of stuff. It's really good stuff. They're $1.99 a pack, but I want to glue this back on. I just want to glue this magnet back on my tray that came off. Um, got a couple things of mechanics wire. That's just handy to have around. I got some crow's feet. Honestly, um, I was watching a video by Justin Dow. He's a uh, Chrysler uh, automotive tech, and um, he's his channel's great because... He just tells shit like it is. Um, and one of the things he was saying in one of his videos is like, I don't get crow's feet. Why does everybody have crow's feet? And I was like, you know, I've never gotten it either. I've never used them before. So I needed some some metric flare nut wrenches. So I decided, what the heck, I'll get the crow's feet. They're a couple dollars cheaper anyway. I can always put them on a ratchet and use them kind of like a wrench, but maybe i'll figure out what's so great about these crow's feet things that everybody seems to like oh you got the crow's feet you know i don't know um i got some of these little things these are pretty cheap they turn really rough they got a plastic thing in the back um they said they're a pittsburgh pro but man it's pretty crappy um but I'm not using the ratcheting this is just so i can stick that in the end of a socket and turn it to get it loose you know you get those bolts that um you can't quite turn them out by hand yet um but um your ratchet you know isn't loose isn't loose enough to, to where it won't just stop turning it each way so in some type spots i'll let me to get one or two fingers down there and really kind of turn that uh bolt out i think i think they might come in handy they were cheap i'm gonna try it um had 20% off coupons for a single item as well. So, um, I had my uh, son go with me so he could use a 20% off and a free thing. I used 20% off and a free thing. Um, I don't know. I got a free tape measure, which the belt buckle thing is all messed up on, but it's free. And I got that flashlight back there free. I don't know where I put the tape measure at right now. Um, but that's kind of my little tool. Oh, oh, I got this little, I have a coupon to get this little tool bag here uh, for five bucks. So I grabbed that to put together a little tool kit to put in the PT Cruiser. Since I don't have one in there yet. Always like to have a toolbox or a tool bag with some basic tools with me. That's come in handy. Like you lose a belt or a pulley. I usually keep an extra belt and pulley in a vehicle, too. Um, but if not, if you can at least get a ride to an auto parts store or something, you can replace an alternator or a belt or a pulley and get back on the road without having to have a tow bill. Um, actually, on my truck, I had an idler pulley go out and take out. And the belt didn't break. It just came off. I had a state trooper give me a ride to AutoZone to get a new pulley and give me a ride back. You know, so that was pretty cool. And I get to ride in the front seat for once. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've only been in the back seat of a police car a couple of times in my life. Um, the, uh, but yeah, that's um, what I got. It's my little tool haul for today. I don't have a bunch of money, but these are some things I needed. 
getting ready to do a catalytic converter on the Pontiac because um, it's given a converter efficiency code. I also think it has a leaking fuel injector. I'm going to show you how I test that without having to tear injectors out. I have my own little strategy and it's never let me down. Um, so that you can isolate which injector is leaking. Um, and then I'm going to put a new converter on it if I can. Hopefully I won't get into having to do a whole bunch of welding and stuff like that. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's... How it's going. So the uh, the Hyundai, I've got the timing belt completely wrapped up, covers back on. Um, I've started putting some of the accessory belts on. I'm getting I'm getting the motor mount bolted down now, and then that's going to be wrapped up soon. Oh, there's that tape measure. See the the belt bolts <laughs> not on straight. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the. Uh, Fuel line will be next. I found the repair kit for that. Um, basically, it's a 5 16 line with a 14 millimeter flare nut, and it can go in here, and then it's long enough to reach down, and I'll put a compression fitting in. So that's what I'm going to do for that. It's cheap, quick, and easy. I'm going to replace the thermostat with a Motorrad thermostat. Well, it's really a Duralas, but the, they're made by Motorrad over in Israel. That's the same place that makes Motorrad thermostats. Um, and then I'm going to Ohm out the plug wires, make sure they're good. Check all the spark plugs, make sure they look good. If they look good, I'm putting them back on. I'm not one of these people that replace plug wires. I actually ohm them out. If they're good, keep them. If I have one bad one, I've been known to go down to the junkyard and grab one plug wire. So, I mean, plugs and plugs and wires are expensive. You know, I'm not beyond using some junkyard plugs and wires if I have to, man. That's crazy. These new platinum and iridium things, sometimes they want 10 bucks a plug. You, know, you get a V6, that's 60 bucks in spark plugs. Um, I may go ahead and flush the brake fluid and flush out the lines. Definitely going to change the coolant. Might do the transmission. Um, what I'm hearing is you need to buy the Hyundai transmission fluid from the dealer on these to do it right. And um, it's expensive, so I don't know. But it's at those miles where I should do it. It's not burnt looking, but it is getting darker, so it's that time. Uh, I'm definitely going to change the oil. I'll check on my suspension and struts and brakes and all that. I just want to make sure this thing's good to like, go on the road for another 100,000 miles. I don't have to worry about it. So, But I'll keep you updated as I move along on this guy. Then once this is wrapped up, I'm going to get the Pontiac in. So, um, That's all that's going on. Um, it's cold. It's like, like something like like ten degrees out there with wind chill, and I don't know. The groundhog lied. Winter's back. No, we're staying in here. We're not so warm with the big buddy heater. Leslie's got a hammer, and he's playing with the wood blocks. You gonna hit him? Nope. All right. Okay. So. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. This is Tom, your frugal prepper.